Welcome back, ladies and gents. Hope you're good. Guys, thanks as always for checking out the channel, Irresistible Dogs, at irresistibledogs.com. Hope you're all good and um, want to introduce you wonderful people out there to our lovely litter of pugs. This is the second litter of pugs we've ever bred, one last, last uh, year off the wonderful Pepper. Um, this is not a repeat mating, although Ralph last year was impeccable and we will 100% use him again in the future because Ralph um, is a black and tan pug owned by the wonderful Nikki and Drew of Diamonds and Pearls Pet Services. Thank you so much guys, love you both. Uh, anyway guys, uh, we use the wonderful Monty, he's a lilac form pug to produce these absolute beauties now. They look fantastically good, quiet, calm. This coat is like silk. It is literally like silk, I'm not even joking. But, if I'm honest, we were hoping for, you have to excuse the weather, it's, there's literally a storm over us right now, it's a, it's a weird one. Uh, but we were hoping for fawns, now we've got fawns, and the rain, yeah, we've got fawns, um, mixed with a bit of dark, but you know, colour's colour. Anyway, at the end of the day, these are super healthy. Uh, they will be fully health tested, so they will be all PD clear and um, all that good stuff. This is Alfred, by the way. He's um, the biggest boy. You can see the five of them there. Yeah. You have to excuse my kids in the background. It's a, it's a family affair. Irresistible dogs, a family affair. Uh, all our dogs live indoors with us as well. They live uh, inside the house with us. They're not bred in kennels or cages outside or nothing like that. So, anyway, Alfred. Zoe, Susie, I don't know if that's Susie, yes, Zoe, Susie, Alfred, William, the lighter one, and Harry, the slightly darker one, there, done, Peppers 2020 Pug Litter, doing fantastically good, uh, guys, at the minute they are five days old, I'm just about to weigh them, I'm literally just about to weigh them, they're feeding perfectly, all super health, healthy and happy. Although Susie um, is a bit grumpy. She always grumps for no reason whatsoever. They are actually reserved, both these girls. So they're actually reserved, so sorry. But anyway, um, we have three wonderful boys to sell. Uh, DM us if you're interested. Okay, after the milk. She produces loads, loads of milk. So they all suckle fine, they're feeding really well. I'm actually still, um, I'm actually still, I know, I know. Hey guys, last time I was on, didn't have like lilac hair or something, but um, I'm actually still stopping up till about 2.30, I think, with them. And then I'm like, I'm like, I'm like literally living dead at night. All right, give me two seconds. Give me a line on the floor, you're like, no, I can't leave them. Um, they're in the brood at the start, so they're out of the brooder now. They're doing wonderful. You don't need it, it's, it's quite warm. The time of the year it is, it's quite warm anyway, so we don't really need that sort of stuff. So, so they're all doing good, but I hope you're doing well. And if, you, if it's your first time here, make sure you check out twitch.tv forward slash irresistible dogs uh, and dlive.tv forward slash irresistible dogs. Links down below. Uh, it's a live stream, it's on every day, it's on right now. As I'm speaking to you, one of my proper people right now, it's on. Uh, you can view these puppies, both the pugs and the sausage dogs over there. We have two litters at the minute. Um, uh, and you can view those on there. Uh, we also have uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and a website, irresistibledogs.com. If you want to check us out or anything like that, you'd be more than welcome, my friends. Uh, we post pictures, updates, news, all about us, all about our little ones, all about the growing, the growth and all that sort of thing. And as always, I say in every video, um, if you've had one of our previous dogs, then thank you so much. We're practically live, you know, as friends. Because you know we know each other. And we're here uh, for you if you need us for any reason whatsoever. Night and day. We are fully council licensed breeders here in Devon. Uh, and we just trek about all around the southwest. So if you need us, we're here. Guys, uh, thanks as always. If you mind liking, share, subscribe to this video, it'd be cool. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Turn the little bell uh, notification icon. Turn the little bell icon to get notified when one of these videos goes out. That sounds better. Uh, I'm not the quickest at putting videos out. I try, but obviously we've got a family and we've got pugs and sausage dogs and that sort of thing. And the sausages are amazing, absolutely. Okay, ladies and gents, I've waffled on for long enough now. Thank you so much as always for checking out our pugs. So from the wonderful Alfred, Zoe, Zoe Zebra, because this is Pepper. 
like Peppa Pig. Mrs. Potts, her kennel name is, so she's called Peppa, like Peppa Pig. So there's um, Zoe, Zebra, Susie, Sheep. Uh, and then we've got William and Harry, and then Alfred. Because Alfred the Great is massive, he's like a tank. He was first out, first up, and he's been the biggest since day one. And uh, Zoe actually, um, there, the little one, she was really, really small, like just over 100 grams when she was born, I think like 112 grams, I think. Um, yeah, we have to do, t being cancelled, I think she has to do temperature checks twice a day. Uh, you have to do run-up temperature checks on the on the beach that's about to give birth. You have to do weights and times born. You have to do so many things, which is brilliant, and that's the way it should be. If you breed a litter of dogs, you should have to be licensed, for sure. There's no such thing as hobby breeders or anything like that, which we cast ourselves in the past. No such thing if you if you've got a, bre a beach and you're breeding her, then you should have to be licensed. Go for the same booklet of paperwork we have to go for. So uh, we've retested this. It should have been this July, but it's been put off since COVID. So we get retested this October. Um, so yeah, we're excited about that, and we have a very nice licensee lady who comes around, and a vet as well. A vet comes around with us, so we're fully vet uh, checked as well here at the house. So. Uh, we also breed French Bulldogs, Bulldogs, Miniature Dash Hounds, Pugs, obviously. Go on, Alfred. Look at him go. There's little Zoe. You can just sit here, and I do just sit here for ages. You have to tell the boys, we've got two boys, eight and four, and they're forever getting them out of their, um, their little pen. So. Oh, I'm waffling again, but here I go. Um, we did these videos primarily so that if you decide to have one of these or you're, uh, you become the future mom and dad of one of these or one of our past puppies, or um, that you can see what their, your pup's like from birth, pretty much. I put pictures out and that sort of thing. And uh, it's nice to see that when these puppies are like a year from now, like our last litter, we, we still keep in contact with a few of them and, and they send us pictures all the while. We update all our socials with the pictures of them and, and it's nice. So you guys out there can see your little one from pretty much day one. Day five here, I'm being lazy, I'm sorry. Um, I've got pictures on day one. Uh, I'm f in fact, I've got pictures from when they were born. So yes, okay, I'm waffling. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. I shall catch you up in a few days with a miniature dash hound video. But for me, Peppa and all our wonderful little puggies, pug love. Not the love, though. A chunk of the half full of milk. See? Okay, done now. Bye, everyone.